guys, it's Shritika. Welcome back to my channel. Today, I am here at the University of Central Florida, and I am going to give you guys a campus tour of this university. I have actually never been here before. This is actually, fun fact, the largest university here in Florida and the second largest university in the nation. So that's pretty massive, right? Like, this is huge. Um, very much reminds me of uh, UGA. So the University of Georgia, it's a town and the whole university is basically covered in this uh, little area, the city, whatever you can call it as. It's very close to um, Orlando. So it's a public research university with its main campus located in Orange County, Florida, northeast of the city of Orlando. It was founded in 1963 and opened in 1968. Fall of 2021, 70,406 students were enrolled here. Um, so it actually holds the second largest student body of any public university city in the US. Um, you guys will see little signs of UCF all over the campus which I'll show you guys too. Alright guys so we are at the Kenneth G. Dixon Athletics Village of UCF. You guys can see that the colors, uh, their university colors are black and gold um, and actually their nickname is the Knights. So this is their uh, area for the athletics village so all their football players intramurals basketball players all the people that play sports for the university kind of like their area majoritively all right guys so right next to the athletics uh, area we are here at the barnes and nobles um, and then over here we see a go knights so that's their nickname then we see a pegasus which you guys see right over there on top of that building the pegasus is actually their university logo um, and it symbolizes the university's vision of limitless possibilities basically a pegasus is a horse with wings you guys can kind of see that on the top of that building you guys see the knights over here he's fighting all his battles holding his ucf sign Then we see the Veterans Academic Resource Center, Jimmy John's, a burger place. Um, ooh, very cool. There's a Starbucks here. This is the Barnes and Nobles. You guys can get your books, your apparel, university stuff. People may come here, chill, hang out, uh, meet with their friends. Oh, there's also an Amazon right over there very very convenient and obviously the palm trees make everything even better so this university's main campus is 1415 acres so the main campus is here but um, it actually extends to other parts of central florida as well and that comprises of more acres of the university all of the central florida is covered by ucs so you'll see ucs signs all across central florida um, there's different places like one for medical one is for uh, the main campus then other different uh, majors may have their own universities spread out Alright guys, and now we are here at the Audition Arena. So they have a lot of basketball games here, um, other events for students, like they have concert nights, they have comedy nights, they have cheer competitions, and when school starts, they have all these activities hosted uh, at the Audition Arena. And it stood out so evidently because it's huge, um, made of glass windows. Then over there, we see a lot of restaurants again. There's plenty of food on this campus, guys. Uh, there's Domino's, there is a Duncan, it's called the Plaza Nights. So that is this side of the campus. UCF offers 
82 distinct undergrad degrees concentrated into 60 majors within 23 broad fields of study so there are a lot of options like I said the different campuses around Central Florida the main campus itself has a lot of different majors different possibilities for you guys to explore um, do multiple majors if you want to do that so we're gonna go head towards the uh, student union and show you guys the library here we see the Fairwinds Alum Center for alumni relations and open field here on the campus I think this is when you connect the one side of the campus to the other side but that is UCF Global right over there so the UCF Global has English language programs pathway programs international student and scholar services and international employment and taxation so that's built this building right over here right over there we have the career services and experiential learning we're gonna walk over there right now they also have a bunch of these spin scooters all around campus so you can only ride these within the campus area um, they are electric scooters you can charge them here you can go to classes in these um, and there's multiple charging stations all around campus so you can just plug in your scooter whenever you're done using it and uh, these are available to all students we are now at the career services and experiential learning We are now at the psychology building. There's so many trees, but it's right over here. For psychology, there's a psychology clinic, UCF Restores uh, Trauma Clinic, and uh, Philosophy and the Life at UCF are all hosted in this psychology building, right by the uh, Career Services building. So here is the classroom two building, ROTC, Army and Air Force classes, the recruiting office and lecture halls are all hosted in this building. It's right by the classroom two, the Army officers building and classrooms. We have the ROTC building, which is also for uh, the Army officials. And now guys, we are at classroom one, which is for interdisciplinary studies, faculty center, student computer lab, instructional resources, and faculty multimedia center. So again, another classroom right over here. All these classrooms hold a specific purpose and are meant for certain types of lectures, certain types of study areas, certain types of people. And now we are passing by the health sciences building. Lots of places for walking, chilling around the little lake areas, um, bridges so you can cross, go for a nice run, hike around campus. So in the engineering building, you have your civic, environmental, and constructional engineering, industrial engineering and management systems, engineering leadership and innovation institute at UCF. That is what is hosted in this engineering building. Business administration, accounting, finance, and real estate management, entrepreneurship center, and the exchange. Wow, this is so unique. It's the only building that has the business administration right there. Okay, so from what I'm understanding is this is the business administration one and all these buildings will like mention the major or engineering whatever one two three meaning that one building is part of that one major and when you enter inside it connects to other buildings engineering two engineering one so as I entered uh, I'm currently in the business admin building it connects through a bridge to the business admin two building business admin three building 
so it looks like it's only one and then you see the back door and it connects to multiple other showed you guys one of the smaller classroom styles and this one i showed you just right now was the larger classroom your typical lecture halls um this is the common area i think people can sit here between classes one thing i really appreciate about the buildings here is that there's enough places for students to sit inside and outside the buildings inside and outside the classrooms so people can collaborate work on group projects UCF actually ranks uh, 16th in the nation for innovation so that's probably why they have innovation signs all on campus So I have some stats for their freshman cost. Uh, this is from 2020 average. Uh, the in-state tuition and fees was 6,370. Room and board is 10,010. Books and supplies are 1,200. And the total would be around 17,589, which is their 2020 stats that may change. It's a very modern touch to a university. It's not really that old. So now we're going to head outside and take a little break. We're gonna go back outside, show you guys. There's a lot more to cover. Here, we see one more of the scooter dogs that they have around campus. They're actually very new. It's a new concept. I think they got it only last spring. They're very cheap, so students can actually use this. And here we are next to the College of Sciences. We're walking to the mid part of campus. All right, guys, we are now at the Student Union. There are a lot of restaurants inside here. Uh, there's like Panda Express, Steak and Shake, Chili's, there's a bunch of cafes, Kudoba, Smoothie King, Witch Witch, lots of restaurants. So Student Union holds the Student Government Association, Student Involvement, uh, Legal Services, and Social Justice and Advocacy. You guys can see what's open in the food court. Here I am in front of the John C. Hitt Library. It is huge, has some glass, has some brick walls. Um, very massive library. So it starts from here, it ends right over here. It's right opposite of the Student Union. The concept is that as you go on the upper floors, it gets quieter and quieter. So the main area, the main area is basically for collaborative work, group projects. Uh, you come with your friends, you can work. Uh, but if you want to do like serious project work, uh, you have like an essay or something, you go on the upper floor. Okay, so we are at the John T. Washington Center where we have the UCF bookstore, card services, victim services, banking, and the spot for you to print, ship, and passport. So uh, for all your basic admin needs, this over here is the university. Please uh, dial 911 for non-emergencies. They have their number as well. So there's one of the blue signs. You see that one right over there? There are plenty of those around campus. There are also student shuttles here on campus, which are, um, they go to all your classes, they go to the apartment complexes, they are free. And this is the technology commons. So technology product center, support desk, computer lab, stats class, uh, statistics, and undergrad research office. This right here is the technology commons one for your student Student Computer Lab, College of Grad Studies, and the IT office. And then over here, 
we see the reflection pond. This is the Millican Hall. So I'm right underneath the Millican Hall. This is all for the grads. Um, this is for administrative services, financial aid, undergrad and graduate studies, student accounts and registrars. All of this is the recreation and a wellness center. A lot of students coming here for their workouts. I think uh, school is now over. Um, people have more time to go to the wellness center. Finally found the stadium. We are on the back side, but they are called the Knights, so it says go Knights everywhere. I showed you guys some Greek life. So that is all your, you know, sorority houses, fraternity houses for girls and boys. Um, they live in groups um, with their friends and then they have like a big sister, a little sister, whatever, however that works. I was not a part of Greek life, so I don't know how exactly that works, but they basically do events in groups. Um, so that's Greek life. They have houses, they stay together. Um, now coming to housing, they have a lot of housing here. Uh, they have these lakeside houses, they have apartment styled houses. Um, the good thing is their dorms are apartment styled. So you have your um, three or four bedrooms, shared bathrooms, and there's a common area, there is a living room, there is a, um, a kitchen area. So that is a common area, so they're apartment style dorms. There are some by the lakeside, which is also very pretty. So a bunch of housing stuff here on campus. That is all for this. There are a bunch of majors here. I tried to show you guys as much as I could. Um, for the different majors and whatever is hosted here at the University of Central Florida. But if I missed out on something, on showing you guys a specific major like biology and these are different sciences and stuff, you guys can obviously check out UCF's website. They have all their majors listed. If not on the main campus, they may have your uh, major on a different campus here at uh, Central Florida. So make sure to check out UCF's website. UCF is number 45 in the top public universities in America. They have uh, one of the best student lives, best college campuses. Um, they are very good for uh, culinary arts. Um, and for different uh, races like Hispanics and Asians. They offer lots of programs for the minority groups. Um, they have a very good accounting and finance program in America, communications, business. Awesome university. Hope you guys uh, enjoyed my campus tour and got to learn something out of it, got to see some. I'm not a student here, so I tried my best to show you guys to the best of my capabilities of whatever I could of the University of Central Florida. Hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you have any questions, please refer to UCF. I will list um, the university, the address, their phone number, everything in the description box, so check it out. And if you have any questions, you can ask me. I will try to answer them to the best of my capabilities. But thank you guys so much for watching. I had a great time looking at the university. I'll see you guys in my next video. Until then, don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you're new. And don't forget to hit the bell notification for future updates. And I will see you guys very soon. Bye guys! Peace.